let's send it out to the third member of our broadcast team. It's Natalie Nari. The main job for Nick Pavetta today is getting comfortable again and regaining that confidence, and he will do so right here in Worcester with the support of pitching coach Dan Delucio. Garrett Whitlock set to make that rehab start here in just a few moments after going on the IL back on April 17th with a left oblique strain. We talked to David Hamilton this past week about his offseason spring training, and he said something that he got to do was spend a couple of days training with Boston shortstop Trevor Story. He feels healthy and strong after a couple of walks. He said, I have some mechanical adjustments to make. Just need some more reps in that regard. But here's more what he had to say about finding his rhythm once again. For a few of our own Olympians as well, as we know, Eddie Alvarez, the third American to have a medal in both the Summer and Winter Olympics. But more on that silver medal baseball team. It was also catcher Mark Colesbury, Tristan Casas, Jamie Westbrook. We've got all four of them here today. And let's get to this. Two home runs for you, both coming off the bat over 100 miles an hour. So what has been your approach at the plate? Are you trying to, to get more power out of your at-bats? Uh, no, home runs are accidents for me. I'm well, 27 games here in AAA. Where do you think that you have taken the biggest stride offensively in your game? Uh, I would just say pitch selection. It's the team. It's just it's how, we, how we are here. Now, you did some damage yourself at, at bat. You had two walks, two RBIs, two runs, but the team came back from a 4 nothing deficit. How would you like to see them carry that into the rest of the series here? No, I would love that. I mean, I... And to touch on the defensive side, manager Chad Tracy has talked about how you're getting some more reps at shortstop first base today for the first time. How are you approaching those opportunities? Um, just trying to be open-minded, and, yeah, first base was a first for my entire life, but it was fun, so we'll see what happens. The last thing, was it a, a top seventh catch that you landed on your back there? What exactly happened there? A little sun, um, a bad route, and then a little luck, so we'll take it for sure. <laughs> Might get a little heckled for that as well, but keep catching those balls. He received the call late yesterday morning. He was so excited. He rushed into the field and called Sogard in early to work on his defense. But when the 26 year old arrived, Tracy said something different to him. He said you could play second base in the big leagues, right? Take a look. He's turned into one of the leaders of our team. You know? Tristan Casa spoke with us about the mental side of going through an injury, saying he diligently worked with Red Sox mental health skills coach Ray Fuentes, and they checked in multiple times a week to make sure Casas was staying in the right mindset. Go in the clubhouse, you actually notice a couple of graphics on the walls, and this is something that hitting coach Doug Clark has implemented, and you'll notice that they are challenges. The first one is called the Quab Falder, and that means quality at-bats, and you could probably guess that Chase Bydrop is the three-time reigning champ of that award. Eddie Alvarez would go on to win silver with Team USA in Tokyo, becoming the sixth athlete in history and only the third American to medal in both the Summer and Winter Olympics. That He did a program with a weighted ball and he showed up in spring training, having improved substantially in that category. We've seen some great defense from him, just like that with that first out. The 24-year-old makes his third start here in Worcester and demeanor is a word that comes to mind when manager Chad Tracy has talked about what he's been impressed with so far. But on Monday, news broke about the 2020 first round draft pick Nick York, who was headed to the Pittsburgh Pirates in exchange for right hander Quinn Priester, who reported to Worcester just earlier today. Now ahead of the game, manager Chad Tracy spoke with us about the mood in a clubhouse on the day of the trade deadline, as well as his first impressions on the new pitcher. And we know how mentally challenging the game of baseball can be. Red Sox pitcher Chris Martin just being reactivated yesterday after being on the IL with anxiety. But we talked to a couple of Woo Sox players as well today as to how they take care of their mental health. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit late, but did have that hand up, Natalie. Well done. I did have the hand up. It was funny. Before the game, I was talking to Nick Sogart. I did get a softball glove just in case of emergencies, just like that one right there. It might have been a little more athletic. And I said, how do I break this in? And he said, well, the, the first thing you got to do is just start catching some balls. So maybe I should bring it out of the car, bring it into the pit next time. I'll be ready for you guys. Thanks, Natalie. Love it. I heard you mention Coop with the scoop. How's, uh, how's Nori with the story? Oh, there we go.